Welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. Uh, you see the three of us here. I'm John Pollock, your host. I'm flanked by Judy Gilmore, Water Conservation Coordinator for Utilities, Inc. of Southern Nevada, I believe. Central Nevada. Central, Central Nevada. Nevada, yes. And Donna Lamb, who is a little bit of everything. Uh, she's here as the member of the Southern Nye County Conservation District. And then in center stage would be John Pollock, who's here for, what am I here for? Southern Nye County Conservation District for this show. We're, we're on the same group. Uh, before we start, I would like to take a moment to wish a happy birthday to Marta Beckett, who we all adore yep. from the Amargos Opera House. We hear she's 90 years young. So, Marta, if you're watching this for some happy reason, happy birthday, Marta. Happy birthday. Yeah. And uh, many more. Uh, we've had a lot of good things in our memories from uh, the Amargos Opera House and uh, Marta Beckett. So, anyway, on with the show. What are we here for? We're here for conservation, mm -hmm. Judy, Donna, and myself, and we will be looking at doing what? Who wants to lead on this? What are, what are we going for? We're going to do education. Education. Water conservation. Mm -hmm. And uh, who wants to lead with this? Go ahead, Judy. Well, you put all I, the thousand packets together. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most exciting thing is that in conjunction with uh, the Nye County Water District and uh, Nevada Rural Water and uh, my company Utilities Inc. We've put together some promotions to go into the schools in the district. A thousand packets to go through uh, kindergarten through second grade. Mm -hmm. Of uh, we've got a uh, some yeah a coloring an, book an activity book <laughs> and a monthly a monthly coloring book uh, with pages all with just short brief messages uh, uh, conservation tips that hopefully the kids can take home and share with their families and, and uh, just kind of get the, get the buzz on to uh, be water smart overall. Uh, we're also giving away some uh, pencils that say be water smart, erasers that say be water smart, ta -da, and uh, wristbands, which I think the kids like. Yes. So hopefully a tool that the teachers can use in the classrooms and uh, just kind of get the kids uh, tuned into uh, maybe leaving the water running a little less when they're brushing mm -hmm. their teeth and all those mm -hmm. simple things that we know that we want to pass on. Yes. So, so why are we doing that? Is there an issue with water, Donna? Oh, gee, you think? <laughs> yes, let, let's set, we, we don't have enough time to give all the information out, but there are very serious issues with yes. water, and this is why we're trying to teach at the basic levels with the kids to conserve. Mm -hmm. And then they shame the parents and their brothers and sisters, and it works its way up. It does. It's and, best to start with the kids. Right. They learn easier. Do we have a whole bunch of water to play with here? No, we do not have a whole bunch of water. And it's not just a Pahrump issue, it's a regional issue. There's a drought going on in the southwest that's going to be causing some severe water shortages in the coming years, and we are not exempt to that. So yeah, we have, have some challenges here. And so we figure if we start with the kids, they're the ones that are gonna inherit this desert environment with mm -hmm. less water than what we have now. Mm -hmm. So we need to train them early how to deal with that, how to cope with the you know lack of resources here. So. And uh, for the folks that are uh, uh, part of the Southern Nye County Conservation District, mm -hmm. uh, my portion of that will deal with uh, uh, evapotranspiration mm -hmm. and uh, evaporation, like we have evaporation in ponds and pools and lakes and things like that, and also talking about climate change, which you were just referring to. Mm -hmm. That will be my little section of, uh, for grades, what do we have down from yeah, 7 Yeah, that'll to be 12? the higher grades. Right. Yeah. And we have, who else we have? We have Brad Hunt. Brad Hunt is going to talk about. He's part of the Southern Conservation District. Yeah. What's his? His uh, is Amargosa toads. Toads, yes. Yes, and he'll be talking about, you know, water issues regarding the toads and also how they prevented them from being listed as an endangered species. Mm -hmm. And just to show how when a community gets together, they can make a big difference. And that's what they did up in Beatty area. So... And then, of course, Levi Kreider. Oh, my God, Levi, yeah. yes. Mm, yes, our Nye County hydrologist. Right. So Levi's got these really cool things there. Uh, it, how would you describe the that farm thing? we have? It looks like it's an ant farm. It's a cutaway. Farm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I had one when I was with the Yucca Mountain Project. He's got one that he's uh, got his hands on, and I just had flashbacks of trying to clean it afterwards. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it's it's a cross-section of the... the uh, 
the Ground underground water basin. Right. Yeah. You could see the different layers. You could see the wells that are brought down. You could see what happens when you're polluting the area. You could understand when you put in pollutants. It doesn't just stay in one spot. We have groundwater Animals. movement. So mm -hmm. what goes down here? Comes, comes up, up in wells. Else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a good representation. We call it an amp farm because it's, it's on the it same basis. Like it. Yes. Yeah. And it's a great teaching tool for the kids. He's yeah. had some fun with it. I used to. Mm -hmm. And the kids will, you know, uh, different ages will, will get a lot out of that also. Yeah, he has another model too that, that shows how the rain comes in from the mountain and goes down into the valley and gets pumped out, you know, so it really explains the whole cycle, the whole process mm -hmm. with water. Because a lot of kids just think water comes out of a tap, you know. Right. They don't get, you know, how it all works together. So, and so that would be for like the middle school kids and mm -hmm. up. And then uh, we're also going to try to revive, uh, we had a program going on before the economic meltdown. Uh, over 600 kids a year were going on three day trips to Death Valley and one day trips to Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. Mm -hmm. And they were being taught about the water, the resources, the, you know, the desert environment. So we're hoping to revive those programs also. That would be great. Um, and money issue, the economy, cutbacks. <clears throat> it would be great if there's grants available. Yeah. Uh, looking for grants or... Uh, Volunteers uh, and... Yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if we have anybody out there that has uh, the expertise, retired, uh, that has time and would like to teach the kids, uh, yeah. Please, you know, step forward. You could call Utilities Inc., call Donna at her office, or you know where to find me either at the station or the the uh, Night Community Coalition, right? Or at Smiths or Albertsons or whatever. Or wherever you're working yes. at the time, yeah. yeah. And my office is Provenza Realty, so yeah. Or Donna's School of Dance. Or Donna's Studio of Dance. Either yes. one, that'll work. Yes. <laughs> and we're hoping to build this program so it can grow each year. Yes. Get more people involved. More groups working together to to promote the things that we need to be educating on the, yeah the you know we've got several groups working together here mm -hmm. which is a good which is a good start and yeah and we work with the parks national parks yeah. with uh, the fish and wildlife service mm -hmm. and with uh, the um, uh, endow uh, department of wildlife nevada also yes. was helpful on that too so yeah there's a lot of people that contribute to this and we want to get it up and running again, and our hope is that eventually there will be a program where, you know, young students who are interested could intern at either Death Valley or Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. So few people know about the resources that we have there, mm -hmm. you know, like Ash Meadows. How many people don't know about Ash Meadows? And it's a fabulous place. It's got the second highest number of endemic species in North America, mm -hmm. right in our backyard. And most of the kids don't even know about it. So yeah, it's just a, it's a really wondrous place. So, they have mosquitoes there too. It's and mosquitoes. Yes. <laughs> and little bitty fish. <laughs> pupfish, uh, the endangered pupfish. You have other pupfish there also. Mm -hmm. Boardwalks, it's just a fantastic place to go. Yeah. A lot of history over there. So uh, are you going to have uh, Utility Zinc? Are you going to have a booth at the Fall Festival or no? Probably not at the no. Fall Festival. Okay. Uh, Earth Day, though. Earth Day so was Earth a good event last year. Right. We, mm -hmm. we intend to do that every year so that that's, we can. Right. That's uh, some way to interact with us. I don't think we'll be having a uh, booth for the town either. I'm trying to think of ways to interact mm -hmm. you know, in the near yeah. future, too. But uh, like I, you know, I told you, that, you know, we have the ways to get in touch with us, either Utilities, Inc., uh, Prevents a Realty, or myself at the Coalition. Uh, so there are ways to, if you want to donate some time, you have the expertise, please do that. There's people, uh, Desert Research Institute has uh, the expertise. We have people there. Uh, my own uh, friends over at um, Burners Without Borders, there are people that have grants for burning for, them. Yeah. It does some good, and yeah. I know the people that do the good. There are grants for environmental issues, yeah. Black Rock Solar and things like that. So yeah. we will be tapping all the resources for environmental uh, uh, groups to help us with that. Uh, first with water and then uh, the other, uh, <laughs> then uh, what else is there, air? Air, air. is another issue. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we tackled that many years ago with the uh, uh, Dust Nevada. control and yes. yeah, all of that. We, we did good there and hopefully we'll do good with the water education because they're the ramifications with the state of Nevada are that they're not very good because they could come down on us with the uh, the state of Nevada, the engineer. With a big hammer. 
Right, so this will help us save ourselves. Yes. Right, education for the conservation of water. Uh, conservation is the low-hanging fruit. It's mm -hmm. the easiest thing to do to prevent water shortages. Don't use it. <laughs> you know? Right, yeah. Instead of trying to pipe it in. <laughs> you know? Right, don't be a water Nazi or anything, but... Uh, use it wisely. Use yes. it wisely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Could, you could go over there and... Um, uh, brushing your teeth, sh uh, shut the water off between, uh, don't let it run. Uh, and there's many, many little tips you can do. Many little tips, yes. yeah. So many things. So and Some of them are in the books. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. You will Such have as. these in the books. So we will be talking, you'll be talking to the uh, Nice County School District, the commissioners also? Um, is, will that, uh, is that coming up? We're going to be presenting to the Nye County Water District. Water District. Yeah, Just because, uh, yeah. kind of let them know what we've been, what we've, what what we've, we've done. done okay. and, and what we'd like to do. What we'd like we to do. And some assistance with that. See if we can, like I say, keep the ball rolling for another year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get more and programs grow. and more programs. grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. so that's that's our plan and we're sticking to it. Right. So hopefully you'll have some, we'll see some trips to Ash Meadows, Death Valley. You have Red Rock? That's, Possibly Red Rock. That also. Would, yeah, there's a lot of history. There's a lot of education over there. But mm -hmm. let's, yeah, well, let's try to concentrate on our area over here, mm -hmm. Ash Meadows and then Death Valley. Yeah, yeah that would be great. And Levi is part of our group, uh, as is Brad, uh, Donna, and myself with the Southern Lake County Conservation District. Mm -hmm. And Judy has uh, got the banner for the Utilities, Inc. Yep. And I, I gotta just interject really quick. Judy and Wendy Barnett have both been wonderful to deal with. They've volunteered to put a lot of this together, did all the printing. I mean, they've really put an effort into this. So I really appreciate that, Judy. This, this was, yeah, this yeah. was important for us. We yeah. wanna get the... It's something we all care passionately yeah. about. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so. so what are we doing in the future? We're looking for the year 2014, 2015 for the school district. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, we're working with the science teacher and Paula uh, Ward. Paula Ward, Paula we should Ward. mention that. Mm -hmm. as, as help us, you know, get this going. We're yeah, and Kim Friel also from the school district, and uh, she's from Tonopah, by the way. She's like assistant superintendent, yes. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she's from Tonopah, so she is well aware of the issues that we have here with water. So she's all in favor of this, which is just great. They're going to incorporate it into their science programs, and so. We'll uh, be I'm, in there doing I'm remiss the on Paula's title. Paula Ward, I believe she's science coordinator or something. Yeah, I think it That's is That's why we're dealing with her on the field trips and the uh for the, the whole school district. Yeah, for the whole school yeah. district. Okay, so. we're out of time, but that's what we're here for. The Southern Lake County Conservation, Dist Conservation District Utilities, Inc. We will be talking about, and you will be hearing us about water conservation. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. <laughs>